Hey everyone, we are going to pull some cards and see what Spirit wants us to know. Okay. So your current situation is the Ace of Swords. Your challenge is the Lovers. What you need to focus on is the Four of Swords. That's your past. It's the Four. The Strength is the Three of Swords. Wow. I feel like you guys can make it through any type of heartbreak, any type of pain. I feel like you guys are able to really just get yourself out of a lot of things that most people have a hard time doing, right? Your near future, the Four of Wands. You guys got a lot of good cards. Advice, environment, hopes and fears, and then the outcome. I'm trying to make it so that way you guys can see it all, but okay, so I feel like your current situation right now, you might be seeing the truth of a situation here. You might be getting a lot of clarity. As I'm looking on the bottom of the deck, you have the sun. So, yeah, I feel like there might be a lot of, like, you know, smooth sailing is what I'm feeling like. I feel like you guys are getting clarity about a situation, and this is kind of, like, pushing you guys towards, like, moving forward more here. The lovers tells me this is your challenge. There's a choice, okay, that may be a little bit hard for you, okay? Maybe you feel like um, you're a little bit lost in love or lost in your emotions. Maybe like you're getting clarity on how to do something or what it is that you need to do, but your emotions might be in the way of doing this, right? What you need to focus on is the Four of Swords, really taking that time out to sit there and think, meditate, take time away from other people. Don't go to other people about what it is that you need to do. You really need to go within for these these answers, okay, because it's going to feel a whole hell of a lot better when you're doing the things that you feel like you need to do rather than what other people are telling you to do, right? I do feel like your strengths with the three of swords here, you guys are able to like get through a lot of shit, okay? I do feel like um, you've been through a lot of heartbreak. You've been through a lot of setbacks. You've been through maybe even getting treated like shit or abused or, you know, just really, this is about disappointments, heartache, pain, you know, being stabbed in the, in the back, you know, not, and not being able to trust people. Okay. But I feel like you guys are, it's like, you've been through so much that like whatever comes to you in the future, like you're going to be able to like go right through. It's not even going to be anything that stops you. Right. And, um, near past, I do feel like you guys took a leap of faith towards something new. Okay. You could have started something new. You could have moved. You guys could have, um, let's clarify. The nine of cups, you guys could be going towards like a dream of yours, a wish, Okay, something that you guys really wanted. You guys are taking that leap forward. And with the future, with the Four of Wands, I see these doors opening up for you. Okay, there is some type of, this could be like public recognition. This could also be like, this is 1111. Whenever you see 1111, it's a new door that's opening up that the angels are opening for you. Okay, so they've heard your prayers and they're there helping you through it. With the Emperor, I do feel like you guys are going to kind of like, Take some type of action, making power moves here, like walking right through that door. So your advice here is the five of swords. Don't worry about competition, okay? Don't worry about trying to defend yourself. You know, and as I'm saying that seven of wands and then you have the five of swords. These are both about having your walls up, you know, not really letting everybody in because you've been through a lot of shit, so you don't really trust people. But I feel like you guys really need to open up a little bit more. Not everybody's going to hurt you, right? I know it's pretty hard, but the advice is, you know, don't keep on making it harder for yourself than it even needs to be, right? Be your own cheerleader instead, you know? Talk nicely about yourself. And then you have your environment. I feel like your environment is... um starting to feel a lot better. You have to start. This is about healed, things falling in alignment, things falling into place for you. Balance, right? I do feel like things are starting to balance out for you because you guys have put your foot down and you've taken that step. Even though it might be a little bit hard for you guys to do, right? With the lover's card, there, there's some type of emotional um, decision that you guys need to make here. But it's like you guys know that this is something that needs to be done. You just maybe you don't know how to do it yet, right? 
So your hopes and fears are the High Priestess. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is, both of these women are somebody who sits in a throne. Somebody who knows their power. Very intuitive, very grounded, very psychic. Okay, these are also helpers. These are somebody that loves to help other people, you know, do better. Okay, these are teachers. So, some of you guys, um, maybe you guys are going to be a teacher or a healer or a public speaker. Like I said, that could be one of your hopes. That could be one of your um, dreams here with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are bakers um, or love to cook or decorate, you know. And some of you guys are very, very psychic. Your fears, three of pentacles and the six of wands. Maybe you guys are worried that there's um, something in the way of your success. But if that's how you're thinking, that's exactly what you're going to create. So don't worry about other people. Don't worry about competition. You know, focus on you and where you're going to get yourself so that way you can get yourself there. Screw anything else and anyone else, okay? Just focus on you. Three of Pentacles tells me as long as you're putting in the work, like I feel like you're going to get yourself to where you need to be. And then the outcome is the Seven of Wands. I don't know if you guys could see it, okay? So some of you guys are going to have to stand up for yourself or defend your turf. The Ace of Cups. But it's going to end up good, okay? Some of you guys have put your walls up too around love, around other people, and you're not really going to let anybody in for now unless they, look, the strength card, unless this person proves to you that they're, you know, worth it. This could be people in your family too as well. I also feel with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the strength card, as long as you keep on holding it together, all right? And sometimes you do need to seclude yourself away from everyone else so this way you can focus on you, focus on your goals. Sometimes we need to be alone to do that, okay? And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you got two Tens, which are endings that bring, bring a brand new beginning, and then the Ace right here. So for your outcome, there's an ending that brings a complete brand new beginning, but it's going to feel really good, and it's long-term, okay? Whatever this is. Long-term happiness, okay? With the Strength card... This could have taken a lot. You guys just have to hold on a little bit longer. You know, there might it might just feel like a little bit tough on you at the moment. But I feel like at the same time, it's good and it's bad. Okay, as I'm saying that, Seven of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, it's like sometimes it's really good. And then sometimes maybe you feel like you're in a rush and you want things to get, you know, go a little bit quicker or whatever. Try to go with the flow. Try not to rush it. The King of Pentacles. And the star card. As long as you keep pushing and moving forward, you will get yourself to where you need to be. You got the star twice, okay? The star twice. This tells me you're going to have, and then you have the nine of cups. All three of these cards are wish granted, okay? So as long as you guys keep on doing what you're doing, and you don't let anybody get in the way of this, you will reach your goals, okay? Actually, I want to pull one of these cards. You have teamwork, and then you have shaman. Okay, it says the time has come to consider partnering with others to complete a task project or a bigger goal. This is time to be open to other people's ideas, inputs, or talents. Delegating tasks to others helps carry a more fair workload. Assistance is coming from spirit. Help is on the way. You don't have to do it alone. Also, that was your fears. You were afraid that maybe some you're not going to get some help, or you're not going to get recognized, or you're not going to get... Um, your worth out of something, but you will. Just keep on pushing forward, all right? Then you have Shaman. You're invited to embark on a shamanic journey. Nature and spirit world are working through you to impart miracles, healing, and messages of hope to other people. Play, pay close attention to your dreams, signs, visions, synchronicities. Meditate and discipline your sensitivities. Be discerning. Discipline your skills. So some of you guys are working on your spiritual abilities, on your psychic gifts, okay? Whatever it is that you guys are doing. Keep on doing it because I see a lot of success, a really good outcome coming in for you. I do feel like maybe you're going to have to kind of like put yourself in a little bit of a bubble here. You might have people also like who are trying to like attack you or point push you in a corner or saying what you're doing is not the right thing. 
if that's the case, don't tell people what you're doing and just focus on you. And, you know, it is what it is. As long as it makes you happy, then you do whatever it is that you want to do. Okay? Because for some reason, I feel like you might feel like you're being attacked with something or feeling blamed for, or just being pushed in a corner. Or all fingers are pointed at you. Maybe you feel like people are going to judge you. But people judge you anyway, right? That's just how life is. People are not easy to deal with. Um, let's see what you are manifesting. A healthy body. Humanitarian. Yeah, I feel like you guys are for the world, for the earth, for the planet, for the animals. Easy life. Aqua. Some of you guys are water signs or an Aquarius. Um, but I do feel like you guys are manifesting a life to where, like, in the future, you'll be able to take a vacation if you want. Or it's just going to be easier. It's just, you, you'll you have, like, your free space. It'll feel much more peaceful. It's not going to feel so, like, you know, harsh. I feel like you guys been through all that. That's enough now. You guys are moving forward from that, right? And then you have forgiveness. And you're moving on, moving forward from that. And you're also learning how to forgive people, which is also taking a bigger weight off of your shoulders as well. You know, it's not really a weight that you have to carry much anymore. And then you have partnerships. So there is help coming in. This could be friends. This could be lovers. This could be in work. This could be, you know, maybe a business partner or whatever. But whatever this is, I feel like you guys, you have me, family. Oh, my God, mamily. I don't even know how to talk. And then promote. So the Ace of Swords being here and promote. Some of you guys are promoting your businesses, promoting yourself, or um, getting promotions at work. It says congratulations on your promotion. Some of you guys are getting more money, and some of you guys are hitting the target, basically. Like, one of your plans has either, either you're working on your plans or finally reaching your goals, or you're about to. Okay, anyhow, I will leave it at that, and I hope it resonates, and if you guys liked it, please like and subscribe if you want, and take care of toodles.